Hey guys, this is Melanda. Welcome to uh, Telltale Games of Game of Thrones. Um, well, originally, I was thinking of either doing The Walking Dead or The Game of Thrones, and uh, decided to go with this because I am a big fan of Game of Thrones. And now that season six just came out, um, I'm excited to play this version of it. So let's get started. Right. Episode 1, Tyrion Lannister. The Northerners will never forget. This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolf's, wolf's wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the north has been ripped apart by war and rival houses. Seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. The trout, the trout, the trout in the tower. The wolf dropped the fish and they all ran away. The trout, he fought the trout. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Okay, we will have to clean his sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... I will. You are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's any man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. All right. That's your job. Okay. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Right. Death to the Lannisters! Oh, right. winter is coming! Winter is coming! Right. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. 
Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? All right, fine, fine, fine. Fine. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Catch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. Well, you'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? This is a job oh, for a pig farmer. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Oh, should I tell... Maybe if my uncle were cast on it, House Forrester, I'd feel different. How much further? Well, that's right over there. Oh, the red... Oh, shit. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Oh, God. Nice night for a wedding. Shit, do I have to watch this again? Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? Yep. Just gotten into you. Yep. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Hey. Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Oh, God, Lord. Shit. Save him. But what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? You don't need a fucking run. Oh, God. Not gonna die of thirst. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Fuck! We 
need to get back to camp. Nothing I could do. Find a weapon quickly. Come on, pick it. dead inside now. I think Catelyn got slaughtered. Seven hells. We have to get moving, come on. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the brace is tied to <laughs> the Oh, that is bad. this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Uh, uh. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the free you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking uh, there's still time, my lord. Uh, we can both you get... You must go. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle... <laughs> Tell him, the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him that you understand. You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. Tell only the Castellan. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <laughs> 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 Oh, 
with love. Oh, oh, is a great intro, isn't it? Don't we love that? Foresterland, the King's Road. It's a red wedding. That's, uh, was it season four? I think. Hey, Peggy, Peggy. Yeah, season four, I think. Okay, that'd be ASD to move and look around. All right. I have a... what's this? I have a sword. Oh, blood. Blood! Fresh. Pig's... pig. Wow. Pig? Pig's blood? Interest here. Can't run yet. Oh, cart. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Um, I can I be coming? At least still have his bacon. <gasps> Lord Bolton. Bolton. Oh, the Ramsey people. <laughs> Am I supposed to hide or just go? Hey. Come along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <clears throat> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I. Oh, just casually. I recognize in. you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. Bring it. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh, <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. OK. 
Come, come get it. Come get it, you bastard. Come at me. Oh. Uh! Well, I guess I suck. <laughs> uh, damn it. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer. Let's go farmer. for something with the length. <laughs> oh, God, right through the neck. Oh, baby. We're gonna throw the axe now. See you hang for this. That much I promise. I thought he was gonna swing at him. Oh well. <laughs> Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Is she dead? She looks dead. I tried to stop them. <gasps> oh. Yeah, she looks pretty dead. I'll kill the men who did this. Those sons of bitches. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! <sighs> Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, gee, oh, <gasps> why does Toto always do this to me? Oh. oh, mother of dragons. Oh, oh, oh. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house God. and the eldest son through such a despair. 
despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Oh. Right. God. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Like, like that didn't hurt just now? Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Oh. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've oh. seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. With worms in it? Maggots? Oh, God. Are we planning to take them out Go later? On. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Oh, jeez. I can't get that image out of my head. The maggots, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I need a little bit of time. So, guys, I am going to end it here today. I, <laughs> oh jeez, that was brutal, man. Um, so it's, it's a good start, it's a good start. Um, so we're not dealing with the main characters, well, most of them are dead by now. Um, so it's a side story. Uh, good thing we didn't have to see the Red Wedding again. Which, uh, I'm glad. We saw what happened outside. It's a little bit different. And so, uh, and one more thing. So if you guys haven't seen the show, um, I suggest you do. <laughs> you go do that now. Just in case I, uh, let some spoilers go. So, um, anyway, take care. Oh. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Okay, bye.